Hello, Hogzilla here again for part three of Honey, I Joined a Cult. So in the first two parts, we went over the game itself. We set up our compound and added some rooms. Um, we went over all the um, buttons of the game. We went over skill points. And we went over some of the items that we will not be covering in this video series. So let's just hop into where we left off here. We were just overnight here. We're about to wake up for the day and get started. So let's see, we uh, spent some money on the vending machine. Let's go ahead and um, see what happens today. Um, they're starting to use the rec room that we built in the last part. So, we should be uh, letting our followers come in here real soon and uh, we should be able to recruit at least one here. It looks like he's pretty close to being recruitable. And then uh, we should have additional research to build another room. So uh, this person, Amy Leaf, is in the research office. And that requires uh, espionage and intelligence. So we're going to increase the intelligence and espionage. And those are both on equal skill levels. So no need to stagger that. So we should be pretty close here to our spirit chamber room. Okay, so we just got our spirit chamber room. And it says here, one thing I'll also note that you'll notice later in the game, we will not see in this uh, uh, short series of the game, is once you research something that's further to the right, you don't actually see it until you scroll to the right. Like, I might get to here, and then it'll uh, say what was researched. Uh, one thing I will suggest with this game is that I wish they would... Um, leave the scroll bar where you left off so you can see like i left it here in the middle but if i close and reopen it puts it back all the way to the left and it'll keep doing that even if you're all the way over here for researching items so you're always scrolling it would be nice to leave it there or have it almost auto scroll to the next most left item so if like in this example here i was only up to follower cap three but maybe i had everything over here to research too it would only go this far so that's definitely a suggestion i would have uh, for improving this game so let's go ahead and build our spirit chamber room I should have probably not have done that. Build a wall there. We'll add another door. And of course, I just totally messed that up. So let's go ahead, rebuild that. Uh, let's get our flooring. Now add our spirit chamber room. So you can see there's just going to be three items initially here. Um, but we will have the uh, opportunity to expand later this room. So I'm going to leave a little bit of room here. Perfect. Um, Let's go ahead and assign a person to that room. I do not have a person. We need to recruit. This person can do the ghost whispering. This is another little thing. I noticed like 
this will be called Spirit Chamber 1, but then the room over here is called uh, Ghost Whisperer. They're listing the job there, not the room like the header says. This should really either say, this should say job as the, the, the section header, or it, it should match up. It really, it should list the rooms or it should list the jobs, but these are two different uh, title versus uh, what's in the list, at least in my opinion. Um, minor thing you kind of know what's what after you play for an hour or two so not an end of the world scenario there uh but if somebody new were to come into the game that might be just a little confusing to them so um let's go ahead and research the next item and that is I just want to see if there's not something else I want to research here. Um, I'm going to do energy spa. I was really debating between doing recruitment office. But let's just go ahead and add another room here. We're going to need another follower here to man that. Um, either if I did recruitment or energy spa. Looks like somebody actually has um, a skill upgrade. So they are in content one, so they're in the meditation room. And I want to have retail and empathy. I want to go two up on empathy. And that should increase the influence. Uh, what else do we got here? Looks like everyone's receptionist. So receptionist is bluffing in social you can see the very poor they're already at max level reached uh, this person has preacher so they're bluffing and public speaking so two into bluffing and they're at max level reached So let's go ahead and um, I should have probably done a mission too. Um, that was probably a miss on my part because I'm doing this video series. Um, I should have probably, uh, I need to get that PR, PR influence up as quickly as possible. So I'm going to really focus on getting that uh, done the next day. Um, if you have somebody that's recruitable, but they're at home, it'll say at home here. You can see this person's recruitable, this person's recruitable, and this person's recruitable. So I am going to probably take, I'm just gonna take um, two of these three. Um, these are all gonna be very poor. Um, Let's see here. Um, we're definitely going to do that mission. We'll probably end up having to send Amy Leaf. We'll see. We'll see what skills are required here. I actually don't say here. I'd have to go and assign public speaking, retail, and planning. Uh, so that would give me an 83% chance. This would probably give me a 100% chance. Um, I'm going to try and send them off here real soon. This is probably eat dirty hands while eating. There's nothing I can really do about it. So let's go ahead. It looks like everyone is all set here. Let's send the person off on the mission. Um, it kept that Amy Leaf on there. So we should get some increase of PR. Um, 
our maintenance technician is ready for an upgrade. They're going to have planning and improv, improv, improvisation. And they're already at negative. Uh, this, pro this person was probably not the best option to be maintenance technician because they had a negative score. I should have probably caught that right away. They should have. I should have probably swap them out with a person in a room. Um, I'm just gonna actually back that out and probably do something like that. Um, recruit and recruit. So now we have our maximum uh, people here. Uh, I just want to see what their skills are like. Negative two on intelligence, but I still want this person to be maintenance. And then there's no other rooms right now. I'm going to see what I'm going to be researching here. Energy spa. So this person would probably be best like this and then I just gotta remember Ella is gonna be the energy spa person and this is just letting me know that I met my cap and I can research for additional people I'm gonna probably end up building the energy spa here Oh, mission is complete. And research is complete. So uh, we have the energy spot. We're just going to hop right into uh, recruitment office. Recruitment office allows you to bring in people off the street um, to become followers. If you've already met your follower cap, you could still talk to them and get money out of them. So it's not like uh, once you've met your follower cap, they're useless. They're still actually very useful for bringing in money. So let's go ahead and add our energy spa. Um, specific objects. We're just going to throw this into the corner. We need uh, three beds. Uh, we need the energy capacitor and the central that's why I was like oh, I better not put all my eggs into the basket here because I may be short on money now we said Ella was going to run the energy spa so we'll set up energy spa and once we have a thousand we'll add the third bed Um, so we have enough here. We can add our, oh, I thought it was a thousand. It's actually 1500. So we do not have enough just yet. Um, we have a person that has additional skill, Amy Leaf. So this once again is espionage in intelligence. So let's go ahead and add espionage and in intelligence. I'm just going to actually talk about some of the upcoming items. Um, you can increase the number of cult members here by completing this research mission and the number of followers that are giving you money and influence by completing the follower cap. Eventually, you'll be able to add a kitchen, upgrade the bedroom to better beds, and then the bathroom to better uh, fixtures. Um, this is actually a very beneficial one for the bathroom. Then you can upgrade items in the room, like the maintenance room. You'll have additional therapy rooms. You'll upgrade your sermon area. And then from there, it's just, it's mainly uh, upgrades. You'll upgrade burgers. You will add stuff like the hypo chamber and the infirmary. Um, this is a key item, pool of revelation. I always try to get this as quickly as possible. Um, because um, then you can see uh, who are the good and who are the poor uh, potential recruits. Um, but you'll just keep upgrading from here. 
and eventually you will add the uh the divine inspiration i would like to actually in this video add that divine inspiration because then that'll be like a a, a basic where you would have all the basic items here you can see somebody uh, something finally broke down here it looks like they repaired it quick uh, that was another thing with the public beta uh, fix was um, repairing items was better before what would happen is the maintenance person would just go to room to room every day and if there was something broke they'd fix it and if there wasn't then they would just go to the next room they wouldn't go back and find the broken items so quality individuals um the quality rating means i uh, just say um mean that higher uh, pr rating means you get better followers and i talked about that before um but we have no missions so let's go ahead and get the leader uh, saint sanctum here so we can get the divine inspiration um and let's add the recruitment office while we're at it here uh recruitment office we don't need much room for the recruitment office i'm just gonna go ahead and um add the flooring here And then recruitment office. Add a few specific items here. Whiteboard. Um, and I don't have enough for the desk. <laughs> that was quite unwise. Um, and then the recruiter would be here, but the recruiter will actually spend the majority of their time out on the street. So let's see here. Uh, this person here is the only one left. So we're going to add them as a recruiter. And then who? Um, Ghost Whisperer, which means, oh man, they should not be probably doing that. Uh, odds are this, this, uh, this shouldn't be. Uh, I'm not going to get much influence off of them, but there's not much I can do right now. I could have probably maybe looked to flip some people around. I'm just hoping I can just get better quality people. And that'll help avoid this uh, situation. I uh, just need to get overnight here, and then hopefully we should have enough research for um, the Leader Sanctorum. We'll build that, and then I think that uh, might do it for the video series. Um, just trying to figure out if there is something else I want to talk about here. Um, if there is anything worth uh, talking about in this short series. Um, I wish there was something here to uh, speed through this overnight if there's nobody working. If everybody's sleeping, if there was some button, um, people can get up in the middle of the night if they're hungry and go eat something, so maybe that's not a good idea. This is just saying that people will soil themselves if they're poor. So let's go. Uh, this person says that they're close to leaving. Uh, they're having a mood break here. Oh, well. I'm trying to see what their their issue is there. Uh, if they leave, they leave. I mean, not much I can do about it right at this moment. Um, PR campaign. Uh... 83% chance. Ah, uh, we're just going to take our chance here. So we sent out somebody on an 83% chance. They're successful instead of 100. 
I know, like, some missions for the Divine Inspiration later, um, they have a, uh, you won't get 100%. I think they kind of had to build in, um, build in the, um, chance that it might fail. Okay, so we have the Divine uh, Inspiration Room. So this is where you'll have your, like, uh, where you might lead your cult down in the future. Uh, when speaking to your leader. Um, so, uh, I'm going to build a room off here. Demolish this wall. Uh, let's go ahead and we don't have a lot of money right now to fill it, but I just want to at least get the paving in there. Uh, let's go ahead and leader sanctorum. We need a leader's desk. Let's see what that was. That popped in there. Follower cat met. It's just saying that you'll have no more followers. Uh, complete the mission. And it was a success. Uh, research. Uh, we can research the next item here. Um, theoretically, this uh, mood boost, you can actually, if people are feeling down, you can take individual people at the cost of influence and um, give them a little uh, mood boost. Go ahead, get that in there. Add this, and then one more item here. I'm hoping I don't want to leave myself too much in debt here have enough money for food but I think I will so now what this does is uncover the uh, divine inspirations and you can tell your uh, leader to research items investigate a new theme it's because you got to start somewhere So everything is pretty well set up from a basic perspective. <coughs> um, I'm just going to add, let's see, recharger. So we're going to add two empathy here. Maintenance. Uh, we want planning in improv. improv. So, I really think I've uh, actually um, covered the basics here for this game, Honey, I Joined a Cult. Um, I don't think there's much more to cover here, um, short of going through the complete game, which I do not want to do here. So, I think this is where uh, we might leave this in this three-part series. Um, if you like what you've seen in this video... Uh, hit that thumbs up button if you want to actually see more from this map of me playing the game leave a comment below and please consider subscribing thank you for watching and i will see you next time bye